Good morning and welcome back to Pittsburgh Today Live. This is even better than behind the scenes. We are like under the scenes. I'm here with Mark <laughs> underneath the Biome Theater. We are underneath the Biome Theater. There's no phantom here, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> but there are a lot of cool things that happen for Christmas Carol right here in this small area underneath the stage. Yeah, it's amazing how many things you've crammed under the stage. So we're standing <laughs> right now like in the bands area. This yeah. is the percussion section. Yeah, this is where Paul Evans, who's uh, one of our musicians, plays. He's got chimes. I know he's got different things here. Oh, uh, I love that. Right? It sounds very magical. So this creates thunder and timpani. And, and again, we use music. McCray Hardy, who's our music director, uses his keyboard. And we have a harp. There's a harp over There'll there? There'll be a harp right oh, here. Wow. Um, and those three musicians sort of capture everything about the show uh, sonically, sound, music, sound effects. Gosh, that's amazing. And going well, over yeah, here. Yeah, let's go over here. Well, there are all these crazy mechanics and silver tubes everywhere. Yeah, anywhere you step, there are tubes, there are cords, we're running electrical, so you can see this engine. This actually powers um, the tombstone that comes up the end, which is when Scrooge recognizes that he is the name on the tombstone that everyone's been talking about in oh, the, wow. the third act of the show. So that's down here, and then somehow yeah. this crank system. Yeah, so one of our stage, one of our union stage hands would push the button, it goes up. Someone else is going to push a button to get the fog. You can see this machine that has oh. fog juice that comes out. They all go different places. They change out. So if they want fog to go here, or if they want fog to go there. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And then people fly in this show too. People fly. Uh, we have people that come up through trap doors. Whoa. We have ghosts that come out and levitate. You know, and again, it's sort of that magic of this ghost story that Charles Dickens wrote, these three ghosts, and you want to make sure there's that impact. That's what everyone wants to know. How are you going to do the ghosts? Yeah, absolutely. And, and a lot of our stage carpenters and people have done this. So, hey, why don't you come this way? Okay. I want you to come up here so I can go look at something. I want to make sure we get oh, a good shot. Just hey, up here? Yeah, can you go stand on that piece of carpet for a second sure, for me? Sure, yeah, not a problem. Yeah, and uh, let me grab something else for you. I'll be right back, Boaz. Okay. This thing's moving, is that all right? Uh, gosh, hi, sorry, hi, hi everyone. I <laughs> uh, hope, I'm, I'm, hope I'm not interrupting anything. Whoa, what, how? Uh, I'm sorry, were you guys doing something? Okay, I'm so sorry. How did you get here? I don't even know what Mark told me to stand on this place and, and now I'm here. I'm so sorry. Were you, you can get back to whatever you were doing. Yeah, no, I'm glad you're joining us, but it's theater magic right in front of our eyes. Just like that? Who knew? No, you're not going to fall through it again, are you? I hope not. Um, I'm just going to step away just in case. Oh, that's good. Wise. Safe. Yeah, you stay here in the safe zone, Boaz. <laughs> we hopefully need we're to in see. the safe zone. Well, it, well, hopefully, yeah, there's no trap door under us. Right. Maybe if, there. if we say yeah. the wrong thing, then yeah. boom. Somebody has a button they're going to push and just we fall through the floor. <laughs> Boaz, thank you so much. And don't forget, you can catch the magic of a musical Christmas carol right here at the Bayam Theater starting this Friday, December 15th.